a class just like normal. I'm going to go through your quiz um, and sort of give you review and practice on each type of problem so that you know exactly what's coming up. Um, it's just going to look slightly different um, so that there's no confusion with me opening it up and you seeing um, anything and thinking that you're supposed to complete it or whatever. So number one. We are taking the square root um, of a perfect square. So you can either type this in your calculator. To type this in your calculator, you will hit second and then X squared, which will make your square root button pop up. And then you'll type in 49, the ABC button, four, and then hit equals. And it will just spit out for you an answer of probably either a decimal or a mixed number. Okay, you can then do second um, ABC to change it to improper. We should be getting out seven over two. The other thing that you can do is just square root these each individually. So you can take the square root of 49 either in your head or with a calculator, and that will give you seven. And then the square root of four, which will give you two. Either way, we get seven over two. Number two. Oops, sorry, I hit the wrong button there. Okay, number two, we are being asked to simplify a square root. So whenever we want to simplify a square root, we are going to prime factor. So this splits into two and six. Six then splits into two and three. Okay, so now we have the square root of two times two times three. We are then looking for any pairs. So we see a pair of twos. Now, remember, whenever we find a pair, we pull that out in front, but it only counts one time, right? I have two shoes, but that counts as one pair. So one pair of twos is out in front and a three inside. So our final answer would be two square root three. Number three is the same type of problem. We are just simplifying a square root. So we're gonna start by prime factoring. Again, you can pick any number that you can think of. It doesn't matter as long as your math works out the same in the end. Okay, so we have a three, a three, and a seven. We are going to circle pairs. Again, those pairs come out in front, but they only count one time. So while I circled two threes, it is only one pair. We have the seven left inside. So we'll get a three square root seven. Number four is addition and subtraction with square roots. Remember when we're adding and subtracting, we have to have a matching label. So when we look at this, we have to make sure that our square roots are the same. If those didn't both say square root of three, we wouldn't be able to subtract them as they are. But since those are matching square roots, that's good news. And we're just going to take the numbers in front. Okay, so we'll do nine minus seven, which gives us a two. And then that square root label stays the same. So our final answer is two square root three. Okay, our next one, we're taking the square root with something that has an exponent. So remember, we have a couple options to doing this. You could, if you wanted to, write down V 15 times and then circle all of the pairs. Or, right, we said we could take this exponent and we could divide by 2. So when we divide 15 by 2, if we use our calculator, we're going to get a 7.5. So we said the whole number is what's coming out in front as our exponent. If we have a 0.5 left over, that means there's one remaining on the inside. And so we'll have v to the seventh square root v. Okay, so again, we're simplifying, but now we have a coefficient and we have a var variable. So we're gonna start by prime factoring the 18. And doesn't matter what you split it into, as long as your math is correct. Okay, we're gonna circle pairs. Anything that's a pair is coming out in front. So I have a three, we count it one time coming out in front, and a two left over inside. However, we can't forget that over here we still did have a variable to worry about. So we're gonna take that 12 and divide it by two. 12 divided by two works out evenly, so I get six. So W the sixth is coming out in front and I have 
No, none left over, right? I didn't get a 6.5, so nothing's left on the inside. So this is my final answer. Okay, so now we have multiple variables happening, but we're still doing the same thing. So actually, this is the same number, right? So 9 and 2, 3 and 3. Oops, that should be a 3. So we're going to get a 2, a 3, and a 3. Now, if you wanted to, right, we could write these all out. So I could write out 1, 2, 3 Ts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Us. And I could circle my pairs. Okay, anything that I see a pair of comes out in front. So I have one three coming out in front, one T coming out in front, and then let's see, one, two, three, four, five U's coming out in front, so U to the fifth. And then left over inside, I have a two T. Okay, so we said this before, when we're adding and subtracting with radicals, our radicals need to match. So right now, when I look at these square roots, right, my square roots do not match. So here and here, these are not the same. If they're not the same, I cannot add them, which means I need to get them simplified first. So I need to simplify the square root of 50. And now I'm just using the same rules I use to simplify a square root. Okay, I have a pair of fives. So the five comes out in front and that becomes a five square root two. And then I need to simplify my two square root 18. Okay, but that two, right? There was already a two out. So that's the one that's staying out. So I have a pair of threes, my threes coming out in front. So I have a two out in front, a three out in front and a two left inside. Right? Anything in the same location gets multiplied. So 2 times 3 is 6. And now my square roots are matching, right? Now these are the same. So now I can go ahead and add. I add the numbers that are sitting out in front. 5 plus 6 is 11. And my square root label stays the same. So we'll get 11 square root 2. Okay, when I multiply, right, multiplication, anything in the same location gets multiplied. So any of the outside numbers get multiplied together, any of the inside numbers. So this only has inside numbers. So 6 times 2 gives me 12. That's just not my final answer because I want to make sure I get it simplified. So I'll get a 2, a 2, and a 3. Right, my pairs come out in front. And so my final answer will be 2 square root 3.